we are done, snip, snip, done having kids. guys miss addy is going to be two months old tomorrow which means it's already time for us to do a two month update i feel like we just did her six week update and then her one month update and her two week update is just going by too fast so i just weighed her right before this video and i know i weighed her like two days ago when i was vlogging and right now when i weighed her she was 13 pounds. She gains weight so freaking fast. Like, I don't understand how such a small human being can gain weight so dang fast. And she is a chunk or monk. Like, look at this, guys. She's huge. She's absolutely huge. She is barely fitting in three month clothing. So, I think we're going to have to switch to the three to six month clothing here um, very, very soon. Like, if I tried some of the things on her, I bet it would fit her, which makes me sad. So, I don't even want to try it. She is still in size one diapers. Sorry, I'm trying to like get her comfortable. She doesn't know what she wants right now. <laughs> she is still in size one diapers, but I don't think she's going to be in them for much longer, which is kind of a bummer because we have two full boxes of them. So she is growing up so, so fast. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with all of the little things about Addie and then I'll update on me, even though there's not too much to update on. But starting with Miss Adeline. Is that what you want, kid? Is that gonna make you happy? So I guess I'll start with her likes and dislikes. She hates the pacifier. She almost never takes it. Um, once in a while, she'll take it from like somebody else. But she just doesn't care for it. She definitely doesn't need it. I don't think she's even had one, to be honest, in a few weeks. The last time that I did try to give her one, she couldn't even latch onto it, so she's just not a passy baby. Some kids love the passy, some kids just don't like it, and she just doesn't like it. Same goes for the swing, and this has kind of been true since the beginning. She doesn't care for it. She doesn't hate it. Like, I will put her in it once in a while, but she doesn't fall asleep in it. She just doesn't. In fact, the only way she falls asleep is if she is in my arms, and if she's in my arms, she won't nap for more than maybe 15 minutes. The only way she'll really sleep is if she is on her tummy in my bed and I this has been true since pretty much day one the nice thing about that though is that this child I like never believed any moms that were like my baby sleeps through the night I was so jealous of those moms that claim that their newborn slept through the night and this girl sleeps through the night She's not too picky about her schedule at all. She very much just goes with the flow. Most nights, she goes to bed when I go to bed, which is usually around 11-ish. Sometimes I'll put her to sleep and I'll come back out and I'll stay up for a little longer. But she usually goes down probably around 10 p.m. or 11 p.m. At that point, she sleeps for these last two days, she sleeps for eight hours straight. Not waking up to nurse, not even moving. She just sleeps in the bed on her stomach eight hours straight like none of my kids have done that not every single one of my kids was up every like one to two hours every single night until they were like two years old so she'll usually wake up around 7 30 when my alarm goes off and she will nurse and she'll fall right back asleep but if we don't have school then she will sleep in for another four to five hours after that point so she'll usually wake up at 7 30 to nurse and then she'll sleep again like today today she slept last night she went to bed at 11 she woke up at 7 30 to nurse and then my best friend took lily to school this morning so she nursed at 7 30 when my alarm went off and then she slept until 11 a.m 11 Oh my god. And once she wakes up for the day, she is super happy. She just wants to be held. She's super smiley. The one thing that I have noticed though is that she doesn't really nap during the day. At least not like a hardcore nap. Not like she goes down for two hours. This is her nap time. It's not like that at all. She just kind of goes in and out of sleep. Like she'll be nursing and she'll fall asleep and she'll take a cat nap for five to ten minutes and then she'll be up for two hours and then she, I'll nurse her again and she'll fall asleep and she'll sit on me asleep for maybe, maybe at tops at most 30 minutes and then she'll wake back up and she'll be happy. But the good thing is, is that she never cries unless she's in the car seat. I mean like pretty, pretty much never. Pretty much never. She's just so happy. All day long she'll just be looking around like smiley super happy and she hasn't like officially officially laughed yet but she's doing the thing where she like she'll laugh and she'll go like ah so it's like I can tell she's trying to laugh um, but she's just not quite at that point yet so as for her schedule I kind of pretty much just went through it um I don't do routines I've never done routines I always feed on demand all five of my kids I've just 
always done that. It's always worked for me. It works for some people, doesn't work for others, but I always nurse on demand. And so we don't have a schedule as much as we have like a routine. She just, like I said, she sleeps all night long. She'll wake up, she'll play with me and she'll laugh and smile with me for a while. And then she'll do her little cat naps throughout the day. And that's just pretty much it for her schedule. Like she doesn't really, she's just so easygoing, which is really nice when you have a really busy schedule. She used to just eat, sleep and poop. And now she'll eat, sleep, play and smile and poop. So <laughs> that's just pretty much what her schedule is at this point. She is an amazing nurser as you can tell. Day one hasn't changed. She's been no problems besides my infection that I had, the mastitis that I had. That was that was it. I don't have any supply problems which I am really really lucky for. One thing about her is that her nails grow so extremely fast. Her hair is getting so long especially in the back. I'm gonna see she's sleeping so she's getting mad at me. Um, maybe she'll wake up towards the end of this, but her hair in the back right here is starting to get really long and then, well, really long because she was basically bald when she was born. And then on the sides right here too, she's starting to, it's starting to really grow in. And it's so weird because on the top of her head, her hair is so blonde. I mean, toe head, you cannot see it at all. But all along the back and all this new hair that's growing in on the side is this exact color like I had her in my Moby the other day I was baby wearing her and we were in Costco and I went to take a picture and you could see all of the fuzz on the back of her hair and my hair fell like this right here just like next to her and it was literally the same color so all of the new hair that she's getting is definitely red there's still a chance that it'll like completely fall out and it'll come back brown or something but I really have a feeling that she is going to stay a redhead. One of the other reasons why I think she is, and I only know this because I'm a redhead myself, I don't know, probably 90% of redheads, other redheads you could vouch for me down below. If you have like the strawberry blonde hair, like more of the light red hair, not the dark auburn hair, you always have blonde eyelashes, blonde eyebrows, like this right here. Is makeup my eyebrows are the color of my skin I look invisible my friends used to make fun of me when I was little because you take a picture of me and if the flash was on you didn't see anything but like eyeballs like that was it this poor girl her eyelashes are just completely bleach blonde like 100% and it's funny because they're so long and thick but you can't see them because they're just completely 100% blonde. That is why I'm thinking that she's definitely going to stay a redhead. One thing that is new about her, um, or at least newish compared to when she was born, because when she was born she hated this, um, but she loves being naked. If she ever starts to get a little fussy, which is like Oh my god, almost almost never. She's like not a fussy baby at all. But so once in a while she'll start like fussing around a little bit. Um, if you take her clothes off and you take her diaper off, she immediately is like a happy camper. And I can't have her naked like too often because it's like smack dab in the middle of winter. So it's really cold here and we have the heater on of course. But yeah, she doesn't stay naked for too long. But when she is naked, she loves it. She's getting super good with her head control. She's not having any issues at all really. She can pretty much hold her head 100%. If you sit her up for like too long, then she'll start like slash into the side but for the most part she does really well with her head control and she is starting to coo a whole lot and it's so cute she's starting to like talk to you if you talk to her she'll be like ooh in my last video, if you haven't seen my last video, I'll, I'll leave a link down below. But she was going to town talking to me. That, that was probably the most that I have heard her coo was in that video. And one thing about her is that she just really loves her mom, which I, of course, love. If anybody else holds her, she'll like start fussing and start like whining. And then the second she goes in my arms, she's just like, okay, I'm chill. I'm happy. So she's definitely mom's girl at this point. But I have a feel her daddy's going to steal her from me as soon as she is like more aware of her surroundings and stuff. But as of right now, I'm enjoying her being a mama's girl. Even though it's probably just because I have the boobs. She has super sensitive skin and like because her nails grow so fast, she scratches herself all the time. And it's like she barely touches herself and her skin gets so pink. And one thing that I've noticed about her, and I believe I had the same thing when I was a baby, but you'd have to ask my mom. But right in the middle of her forehead, she has this pink mark and it's not like a birthmark. It's only there when she's mad or when she's pooping. When she like pushes and she like strains herself, she gets this like red mark and I think it's called an angel's kiss. I don't know what else to call it, but I think I've heard it called like an angel's kiss. And she gets it in the middle of her forehead and you can't see it at all like if she's happy or smiley or just like fine or whatever. It's only when she like 
poops or she's mad she gets this red mark in the middle of her face and then she also has a stork's bite in the back of her neck I don't really know how to explain it but it's just this like pink mark that you can see oh one thing about her I didn't even write this down but I just remember this off the top of my head she is so gassy like I'm honestly surprised that she's not like reflex or anything she is so gassy she burps and she farts constantly sometimes she'll do it at the same time her brothers love it her brothers think it's absolutely hilarious it's just so gassy I don't know if she just like eats too fast and swallows so much air but it doesn't bother her at all her eyes are so 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 blue it's so hard to get like an accurate color and I think I've talked about this before but she is just I don't know if she's just like not photogenic I mean I don't mean that in like a way where she's not cute because obviously I mean I think she's cute she's really hard to photograph like to get an accurate picture and like idea of how her coloring is I guess because like her eyes are super blue and then her hair is super red but anytime I try to get a picture of it you can't see it either so I don't it's really hard to capture I think the videos do a much better job at capturing her coloring than like pictures that I take like with my phone and stuff that is pretty much it for her update as for me nothing has really changed too much a lot of people have been asking what we're doing for birth control Chris does have a vasectomy scheduled so that is what we're doing for birth control I know a lot of people have been asking about that and I did talk about that in a previous video but I think some people just missed it but yeah he is getting a vasectomy we are done snip snip done having kids as for my body like postpartum I definitely noticed that I am having the hardest time of all my kids losing the baby weight and I gained a lot of weight with her I was at 184 or 185 when I delivered and I pre-pregnancy I was 150 and pre-pregnancy before all of my kids I was 135 so that's like a huge range you know that's a lot of weight that I've gained like over the last six years so I lost 20 pounds or like 25 pounds pretty much immediately after I had her within the first like couple weeks but since then it hasn't gone down anymore like I literally lost 25 pounds and I'm stuck at 25 pounds and I still have like Ten, at least 10 pounds to go before I'm at my pre-pregnancy weight that I was with her but that means I'm like 25 or 30 pounds away from my like pre 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 pregnancy weight like before any of my kids I'm not like unhappy with my body I think right now I'm not doing anything extra to try to lose the baby weight at this point I don't know at some point I know I'll want to like actually try to get back down to my pre baby weight but as of right now I'm not too worried about it she's only two months old and she is still exclusively breastfeeding so I haven't changed my diet I haven't changed any exercise routine I just lost that initial weight and I, nothing has really changed since then so on that note I guess I can show you guys my two month postpartum belly if she'll let me lay her down so here's with the shirt on <laughs> sleeping baby and here's with the shirt up She's starting to wake up now, but you can see all that little red fuzz on the back of her head and it's really, really straight right now, but it's not that long either. So let me see if you can see her stork bite. Uh, you can pretty much only see the line from the bow. You can see how in the back here, it's so much redder than the hair on the top. It's like pretty much my exact color. Are you gonna wake up and say hi? So that is it for today's video, guys. Make sure you follow me on Facebook, Snapchat, and Instagram. I'll have those links down below. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll answer them in the comments below or answer them in another video. And other than that, I will talk to you guys on Monday for our next video. Bye. Say bye. You did it. Bye. There are a lot of exciting things in store for us.